Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, please give us a thummy. They are free. Okay, so if you are new here, every Friday Mike and I jump on and we do a crochet catch up and that means we fill you in on all the crochet happenings over the past week. So let's get to it, shall we, guys? I have four things to show. Mike only has one, but that is okay because the one he's got to show is very exciting, in my opinion. Anyway, we'll get to that. We'll leave the best till last, shall we? How about that? So I'm going to show you, first and foremost, my luck of the draw seven. Now, Luck of the Draw 7 was the brainchild of Nancy, also known as Nan. Her YouTube channel is Nan's Next Knots. I will link it down below. If you're not familiar, go and get familiar. Throw some yarn in her window, become a member of her family and see what awesome stuff she does over there. Very, very quickly, the basic principle of Luck of the Draw is you pick one main colour. You use that every single week. But in between your strips of main colour, you have chosen eight other colors now you just number them one to eight nan does the rest how you say she puts all the numbers in a hat she comes on once a week on a thursday and blindly picks a number and the yarn that you have corresponded to that number is the color you put into your blanket so apart from picking your nine colors nan does the rest for you it's wonderful now there is a luck of the draw blanket pattern Excuse me, we've just had dinner. I do apologise. Um, yes. And was, garlic bread. And potato bread. Mm. Um, anyway, you don't need to know what we had for dinner. Very um, tasty. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, yes, you don't have to worry about colour palettes or, you know, worrying about what order to put them in your project. Nan does that for you. Um, there is a look of the draw blanket pattern. That's what I was saying. Um, we did that last time. So yes. if you want to know what that one looks like, go back quite a few crochet catch-ups ago and but you can I see it. But I am not joining this time. Mike is too busy on other missions, mainly being Amigurumi and hugs. Um, yes. And this one I decided to uh, switch up a little bit. I have decided to do what I am calling my ugly experiment. I keep getting told off every week that I do these um, crochet catch-ups to stop calling it an ugly experiment, but that is the name I gave it. Um, and basically I am doing one row of half double crochet, one row of half double crochet in the third loop, back to one row of half double crochet, back to one row of half double crochet in the third loop. My main colour is Starcraft Special DK in Mushroom. Lightweight 3, if you're not familiar with what DK means. UK yarn, really nice uh, workhorse, run of the mill generic yarn we get here. And then I just plucked out eight different variegated or self-striping yarns that I only have one each of. And I'm chucking them all together, doing the um, row pattern that I have just said. So I have put in last week's colour. And there it is at the top. Hopefully I'm, sh yep, I'm showing you the right way around. And it can be tricky to see those half double crochet in the third loop rows, but there they are. It makes it look like a knit stitch when it is not, guys. This is all crochet. So as you can see, mushroom colour, mushroom colour, mushroom, and that has been the pattern throughout the whole thing. So this was week 13. That means there are only seven more colours to go because Nan runs this for 20 weeks. However, it doesn't have to be a blanket. Oh, sorry for shaking the table. Um, it wasn't me this time. No, it was me. Um, it doesn't there's, have there's... to be a blanket. There has been plenty of other projects, such as curtains, bags, ruanas, wraps, shawls, um, amigurumi snakes, you name it. If you can put all those colours into whatever project you are making, you are golden and you are good to go. Everything counts. And because you're only doing a few rows every week of each colour, then there is still time to catch up. No pressure, you don't have to, but it is an option if you are looking for something mindless and nice to jump on board with. Anyone that has done Luck of the Draw 7 will have used the hashtag LOTD7 or LOTD. Type that into the YouTube search bar and you will find all the folks that are joining in 
and for all inspiration. for inspiration and to see all their wonderful, wonderful products. So I know that was really quick, but we show this every single week. So if you wanted to see it from the beginning, go back 13 weeks <laughs> and you will see it from the start. So yeah, and if you want to catch up, get going. Yeah, but it really <laughs> wouldn't take you long. A couple of days and you'd be all caught up and you might even be able to smash out another lovely little project alongside what you're already yeah. working on it is a lovely lovely point of my week because nan's picked the color for me i just get the right color and away i go and then i put my main color back in so that i am ready for actually this week's this week's color was picked yesterday i haven't watched it yet but it's color 14 so i'll come back next week and show you what color 14 for me was oh and just a little side note some people aren't even um, coordinating their numbers to a specific ball of yarn. Some of them are just doing it to a colour. So say number six is red, but they could use whatever red yarn they've got in their stash, not just one. It, one week it could be Simply Soft, one week it could be Premier, one week it could be Hobie. Yeah. Your choice, your imagination is your only... Um, limiting factor on this you can go as as uh, imaginative or as simple as you like you can totally make this project your own thing with the help of man choosing your color order so come back next week to see what color 14 was i am going to be doing that at some point this weekend putting my new color in and like i said check out nan's channel she's down in my description box guys Okay, the next one is going to be another crochet along that I am involved with. This time it is with the wonderful Litza over at Coco's Crochet. If you're not familiar with Litza, I'll also put her channel down in the description box. She lives in Sydney, Australia of all places, which is amazing. On the other side of the world to us. Yes, and her crochet along is she is doing a stitch sampler blanket. And she is taking inspiration from this calendar here, Spectacular Sydney. And she very, very generously gifted me this in Happy Mail. So I do actually have a physical copy. However, watching her videos and others like myself that are joining in, we always show you the picture long enough for you to be able to see where Litza got her colours from. And we are already on September because Litza pulls two months of colours and stitches in one month every two weeks. So we will get this whole calendar done in six months, guys. How crazy is that? Um, so September is spring in the Auburn Botanic Gardens. And it is a particularly beautiful picture, in my opinion. Sorry for the ring light. I will try and get the ring light out of it as best I can. But isn't that just so pretty? I would love to sit on one of those rocks and just crochet the day away. So on a nice two day. Left. Three. Three. October, November, and December. No, I mean actual making. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, because next week the color, the next month's colors are coming out next week, and then we've only got two lots of colors left. So I am joining in in the stitch sampler. Litza explains her colour choices and her stitches when she drops her video. I will link her whole crochet along playlist down below as well in case you want to join in. Litza looks at that photo. She puts in a box all the colours that she sees. She then blindly picks three colours from the box and then she throws in a wild card that we don't know is coming and that makes it very exciting as well other people are joining awesome. along but doing their own pattern some of them are doing c to c's um some of them are doing chevrons there are all sorts of beautiful makes happening but again me being a little bit lazy and wanting a mindful project i'm letting litza pick my stitch and my colors so she's doing it all for me apart from me actually making the blanket so and I have decided that my wonderful little doggy Rolo is going to get this blanket because he is struggling with the temperature with his medication. He suffers with epilepsy and he gets cold a lot more than normal um, because his dosage has had to go up. And 
it's bright and cheerful it i think it will cheer me up seeing him snuggled under something so bright and fun so the colors for september ended up being and i don't want to pull my stitches out and i'm gonna fold it in fours guys just for ease of showing you september starts here with the brown so the colors were brown pink green and the wild color was white this time and it was just straight double crochets i've got a feeling we've done these straight double cro crochets because next month's stitch this is going to be a bit fanciful and we needed a firm and sturdy base to put those fanciful stitches in but i won't know until next week so here it is from the beginning all the way down there so you have got January to the purple and then you've got February up to the orange, March up to this pink and then April up to the red, May up to the brown, June up to the orange, July, one, two, three, up to the yellow, <laughs> August up to the rainbow and now September up to the white. <coughs> excuse me awesome. so we only have three lots of stitches and colors to put in and this one will be done and i will be sad because again this is a project that i can grab get my colors together know the stitch that litzer has chosen and just and when it's finished what's it going to be rolo's blanket so when Rolo's, when that's finished, Rolo's getting a haircut. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. then he has a blanket to keep him warm. <laughs> yes, definitely. So <clears throat> there we go. One last look. Of course, March is my favourite month because they're all sparkle yarns apart from the brown. And it's my birthday month, just saying. <laughs> Litzer picked wonderful colours back in March. <laughs> My birthday soon. Yes. Well, your birthday colours have already gone in if we're in September. Yes. September, August, July. That's your birthday colours. Oh, and red is my uh, birthstone colour. Blue, green, red and yellow. That was July. To so, be yes. Fair, they're sort of my colours. They are, actually. Yeah. Very primary, but very... Bow. Yeah. So, thank you once again, Litza, for a wonderful crochet along. I am enjoying every minute, every stitch, and I will be sad when it's over. I am looking forward to finding out what um, the next stitch and colour combination will be. So, tune in. This one won't be shown next week, because I won't be getting the colours or the stitches until, not this Saturday coming, but the next Saturday after. So, you'll see this again in two weeks, guys. But it will be back. Okay. So those are my whips. I've actually got two FOs, people. I'm so excited. This one, I was not even expecting. Wasn't planning. Just kind of happened. And what had happened was, <laughs> I was planning to have a wonderful catch-up chat with a friend of mine. But I wanted to be able to crochet while chatting, but still have enough um, attention on paying attention to the conversation, following the conversation, you know, responding in the appropriate moments in a conversation without constantly saying, I'm counting, or, you know, those things that us fibre artists are very guilty of doing all the time. So I needed something that didn't really need a lot of my focus. So I thought, well, what can I do? What can I do? And the other whips that I've got that I'm not showing today are not whips that I can do um, on automatic pilot or mindlessly. I, ha I actually have to focus. So I thought, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And then inspiration struck. Back last year, I bought a tray of little stuffed animals that I was going to turn into loveys and I've already turned three into loveys I think that I've shown on this channel definitely two but there are three completed so I grabbed one of those stuffies and I grabbed some yarn off my shelf and I thought I'm gonna do a stuffy so let's go back to the beginning I pulled off the shelf 
Karen Simply Soft Tweeds in the colour grey heather. Okay. There's the tweedy bits. However, when I first pulled it out of the skein, because I was trying to get a scent pull, something happened that Mantha cannot cope with very well. <laughs> and this was all on the video I call. I didn't know you'd done that. This was all on the video call. <laughs> and I was getting more and more frustrated, wasn't I? Because yeah. all I wanted to do was chat and crochet and catch up with my friend. It bathed horrifically, and I mean horrifically, to the point where I spent 45 minutes trying to untangle it, gave up, and cut it off, and I still have the bath. It is a rat's nest, like... <sighs> so I snipped that off and thought, yeah, I'll deal with that another time, which clearly I still haven't found the time to deal with, and that meant I've only got this tiny little bit left, so I'll cake this little bit up and put it in our scrap bin, which may come in handy for tile of the weeks and i will try and untangle and cake this bit as well because can't have yarn going to waste now i have heard a lot of podcasters say that karen simply soft is very splitty and very difficult to work with i didn't mind it but in the finished object it is very heavy and what i mean by that is it feels weighty and it feels dense and I've also decided now I've done the lovey that I will not be able to give this lovey to an actual baby or child and I will explain the reasons behind that so here is my lovey he's a little owl and he is super cute he turned out absolutely great now this little stuffy is called Hendrick okay and you're thinking well why can't you give him to a child sam because as you might you may or may not know the lovey part can be taken off so this can be put in the washer and dryer if baby spits up or you know gets it dirty or whatever and you still have the cuddly toy and this is suitable for children age three and up fine but the tweedy bit on the lovey let me see if i can do a good example here this brown bit i barely have to tug it and it comes out if a baby or a small child puts that in their mouth they are going to be eating tweedy bits <laughs> and that is not good for the health and safety of a little one so this will just be for decoration purposes only or it will be gifted to an adult who just thinks he's super cute and wants him sat on their shelf or whatever as decoration. So this will not actually be used for the purposes it was made for, which is absolutely fine because it still gave me a project to do while I was talking to my friend. He did turn out super cute and he is super lovely, but the yarn was totally the wrong choice. So I do not recommend Karen Simply Soft Tweedy for lovies because they are so easy to pull out. Choking hazard, all sorts of no-nos, basically. Um, so he will just be, so if I ever do like craft shows or anything like that in the future, he can be the one that sits and is display so people can see what they are. I can explain that you can remove the lovey part for washing, um, but he will never be sold or gifted to a child or baby because I don't want any child getting poorly because of something <clears throat> I've made. So just be mindful of that, guys. Um, and the lovey tutorial pattern that I used is from Zelda, Zelda NRJ3. I will link that tutorial down below and I'll also link her channel seeing as I've <clears throat> mentioned her. Wonderful channel, fabulous idea. Because basically, guys, you crochet over a hair elastic. Exactly like the one that's got my hair in a ponytail right now. You just crochet around the elastic and build your granny square from that. Which makes it, like I said, removable for washing. Fabulous. Brilliant idea, Zelda, if you do end up watching this. And if you do, hey! And I've got another two of them upstairs and she'll know what two of them means. But there we go. So, that is my little Hendrix. So, he is an F.O., but he is just for decoration or display purposes only. But yes, so there is one of my surprise projects for this week. Now, 
I'm hoping some of you are going to be sat there going, did you finish Cinnamon Stitches Cardigan? Did you finish Cinnamon Stitches Cardigan? Did you finish it? Well, guys, yes, I did. And I did say that I wanted to wear it so that you guys can see it. However, it's a bit chilly tonight. It won't look very well over the fleece top that I've got on. So what I'm going to do at some point on the weekend when Mike and I have got five minutes, I will wear it with a little plain tank top underneath. Mike will take either a little short video or at least a picture for me to put on my community tab. So at some point on the weekend, you will see it on my body. You will see me modelling it. Trying to be fabulous, but failing miserably. But, you know. But I will hold it up and show it for you because I love it. I really do love it. Just to refresh your memory, I've been using this. <laughs> monster and as you can see it took very very little so i still have plenty of white and i used the king cole bramble dk in the color haze gorgeous look at that muted washed out rainbow it is so so pretty this is a uk yarn 100 percent premium acrylic approximately 317 yards 219 meters wash up to 40 degrees celsius do not tumble do not bleach do not iron you can dry clean recommends a four millimeter knitting needles there is no crochet hook it is made in turkey and that would be what a knitted swatch looks like which is beautiful this is a no name baby double knitting monster 400 gram ball of 100 percent acrylic Ouch. absolutely mahoosive or jai huge as my kids would say but here is and obviously i took this from the beautiful cinnamon stitches tutorial that she called sunshine and rainbow shrug her shrug sits just underneath your girls and it is just a little mini cardigan i wanted more length and i have made it a longer cardigan and here it is guys it is beautiful and there's the back now i'm not gonna block it because i think if i've worn it a couple of times it will naturally stretch to my body and fit wonderfully and when i do wash it for the first time i will either hand wash it or put it on a gentle cycle and then i will hang it to dry on my washing line um, and then it will be even more mouldable to my body. So as you can see, I have mismatched front panels, lighter side, darker side, and then the same on the reverse. That's just how the yarn played out. But I'm not mad at it. I th still think it's cool and funky and jazzy. Yes, I will be wearing it when the weather warms up. And yes, I will be making more of them. So thank you once again to Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. I loved every second of making this. I loved every single stitch. I didn't get cross at it once. I didn't put it in time out once. I loved it, didn't I? And I kept showing it to Mike going, look, 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 it's nearly done, it's nearly done. Toyed with the idea of putting buttons on, but I don't think I am. And I think when I, mix, mix, when I next make the next one... I am going to go across my front an extra couple of rows just to make it join a little bit closer in the front. And I might make the sleeves longer, like have a full cardigan. This is what I'd call a spring summer cardigan. But it is from Cinnamon Stitches Tutorial. I will link Cinnamon Stitches down in my description box. I am sure you are all familiar with her. But just in case, please do go check her out. Join her channel. And if you want to make something that gorgeous yourself, check out the tutorial. So easy to follow. Enjoyable pattern to make. And I cannot wait to model it and show a picture of me in it for you guys. Either on a little short video or picture on my community tab so thank you once again cinnamon stitches and i will be making more and finally it's over to mike guys finally 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 <laughs> now we're gonna take forever at this just to make it more interesting i'm sure the folks have got other places to <laughs> yeah. go so i have picked up a new amigurumi 
And Me? I am making this just because I want to try a more intermediate pattern. So I am doing this pattern here. That is what they look like. Okay, so read it for them. If, so if, if we've got viewers that can't see... It's done by well. Cottontail Whiskers, yep. which, and I got it on uh, Etsy. Mm -hmm. um, now, the big one, the orange one, is Tunnock. Tunnock. And then the middle one is Haggis, and the little one is Midge. Yeah. And they are Highland Coos. And they're different sizes because... The different sizes because the midge is made out of DK three with weight. a three millimeter hook. Yeah. Haggis is a four weight, Aaron, mm -hmm. with a four millimeter hook. And Tunnock is Aaron, four, with a five millimeter hook. So that's the different sizes. Yep. But that's Which it. one are you making? I am making Haggis. Now, but he is using a worsted four weight or a or an Aaron. I have done other crochet, but not enough to show on the channel. Mm. I did a row. One row <laughs> on his hug. But it's a long row, mm. but you can't really see what I've done. And he did it on last week's live, yes. which, guys, while we're mentioning it, come here tomorrow for our live tomorrow. We'd love to see yes. you. Make it a date, please. So I'm doing haggis with mm -hmm. my four millimeter clover. And Aaron yarn. Or worsted weight four. Or medium weight. medium worsted four. Yes. Yep. Now I am still attached, so I need to be, be careful. careful. Here. So so far I've done his little legs. <laughs> Look at that. He's got his legs. Four legs. And stuffed. they're stuffed, yeah. Um I don't know if you can see, but this is the fr the front legs, they've got a little bobble, yeah. They've got knees, they got guys. Knees. They've got the little knees. Don't, no. But then you can't really see. Well, you can if you do this. Yeah. There they are. And they're attached. Can I just point out the shaping of the hooves as well? Yes, they are both different. Back because and front. it's very hard to see on camera, but in person they do actually look like little cow hooves. To yeah. you, they just look like light blue sections. Yeah. Because our camera's a little bit yeah, rubbish. Turn them so they can see the bottom. There you go. So that one's supposed to be like that. Yep. Okay, so he's got one wonk leg, but that's no, okay. It's, it's the way they're standing. But surely you choose how no, the hooves. No, no, because you've got. I'll, I'll, I can can't tell you because it's a pattern, but okay. the way you follow the pattern. And where you finish when you finish the leg okay, to join. Fine. Okay. Anyway. Can't really see, but they have like almost so the back of the hoof is straight and then it goes straight at the bottom and then at the front it's got that like yes. slight curve up into the leg. Very hoof like. I'm very impressed with how um the pattern writer has done up. that yeah and his so, little knobbly knees so i've only used two different colors so far so mm -hmm. that's all i'm going to tell you for now but it is stylecraft special aaron mm -hmm. for the bottom of the hooves um it's 100 percent acrylic premium acrylic 30 degree washable see celsius approximately 196 meters or 214 yards it can be cool, tumble dried, cool ironed, and you may dry clean it. It recommends a five millimeter hook, but I'm using a four. Like the pattern states. And it recommends a five needle. And it is the color Aster. Mm -hmm. and there you go, that's the bottom, the hoofs. And then the main body color, which is what I'm doing now. Same specs. Same specs. But the colour is French navy, and look how dark it is. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It is a very nice, rich navy colour, to be fair. Mm -hmm. So now Mike is going to carry on and do a body. I am. And... They're hairy. They are very hairy. If you look at the yellow and the orange, look how much fur these guys have. Mike's got to do all that hair. 
And, Challenge accepted. And they've got a little licky tongue that's licking their nose. Yep. How cute. And look at the horns. Mike does have to invest in some um, big old safety, safety eyes. eyes as well. So I've got to make so. eyelids. I've never made eyelids. Yeah. I'm well excited. Horns. And he's ears. only actually been working on this for two nights. Yes, I've already done four legs and joined them. The first and night. started the body. Yeah. The first night he did the two back legs. Last mm -hmm. night he did the two front legs. Bear nope. in mind. No, other way around. So I did the two back legs plus the third leg. Front oh, leg. and then, and then, he then did I did one, one last night plus joining them. Okay, but over the only two nights that he's worked on it, he has done all four legs and mm -hmm. he has joined all the legs because mm -hmm. that's the first round of the body. So that is how excited Mike is about this project that already in two days. You've got recognisable legs, guys. I and mean... I am not going to do it tonight because I'm so tired. Yeah. And I really don't want to mess it up. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping into an intermediate pattern for a reason. <laughs> and Trying I to run before he can walk I again, guys. I need to be able to concentrate on it before I mess it up. Yeah. So, so when he's tired, he's not going to work on it, basically. He's only going to work on it when he is fully... And Able to be to fair, focus. I have been tired doing the legs and I've noticed that I have to be a lot slower at it. Yeah. So. But what a beautiful Highland coup. Mm -hmm. Or Heelan coup. We will be. So, and that's it. That's like it. I said, I did do a row of my shawl. But a but row's not a lot of progress to show, guys. No, so I will leave the stitch marker where it is and then when I've done a few more, which I'm going to do some tonight. Mm hmm. Providing I don't fall asleep because I am absolutely shattered. Then the next time Crochet Cat comes around, you'll have something to see. Hopefully we'll have some of that shaggy fur on the on the coup. Yeah. And we'll have a few more rows on the hook. But Mike always crochets when we go live on a Saturday. So I'm sure he can get at least one more row done on the live. Yeah, it takes um, me an hour just to do one row It's now. because it's getting, it's getting bigger. bigger. Um... <laughs> I don't think there'll be many more weeks where the shawl will be featured because obviously the, the rows are getting longer, it's eating more yarn and he's getting closer to the point in the cake where he's going to be putting his lacy edge on it. Um, and then it'll be done. And then it'll be done. So Ready to be packed off for whoever I'm giving it to. Yeah, don't give it away now. We've <laughs> kept it a secret this long. Anyway, guys, we have kept you for over half an hour again. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the projects we have been working on this week. We have certainly enjoyed working on them. That's why we do this and that's why we come here and show you. So like I said, please do join us tomorrow for our live. We look forward to seeing you all. Um, if you don't get to make the live, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Having some fun, visiting loved ones, whatever it is you have planned. Um, it is a big weekend in the UK as it is going to be yes. the coronation of our new king. Um, so therefore Mike has Monday off again as it is an extra bank holiday I still don't know whether I'm working or not yet so we shall see but yes changes are happening over here in the UK lands so we'll just leave it there <laughs> but if, you, if we see you at the live we will see you tomorrow if not have a fabulous Please do weekend join us. There the is, more the merrier yes there is daily content here at Manfred's Makes so there is always something for you to come and watch Thank you for your time, and until we see you in the live tomorrow... Stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. We're around the YouTube sheets. I completely mind blanked. I am so sorry. Maybe I'm really tired. I am really tired too. We're going to go and chill. See you later, guys. Bye. Love ya. <laughs> Bye.